Hi, everybody, and welcome to Bio 100. Uh, my name is Dr. Jacob Youngblood, and I'm going to be your professor for this course. Uh, I'm excited that you're all here taking this course with me. I'm excited to uh, learn about biology with you. And so what I wanted to do now is uh, kind of go through the course uh, on Canvas with you, kind of highlighting some of the important course policies and just kind of give an overview of how you're gonna be interacting with the course, um, how you're gonna be interacting with me, and basically just how uh, the next five weeks is going to go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, and now, so we should be looking at the homepage of our Bio 100 Canvas course. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that we have kind of this uh, virtual classroom. And if you kind of explore around the virtual classroom, you see that there are various links you can click on. And so we'll get those, go through each of those important links in a little while. Of course, this is me, your instructor, Dr. Jacob Youngblood. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. And then you can also have my uh, email there. And I just want to say, uh, feel free to email me or message me on Canvas about anything that comes up. Um, if you have an excused absence to discuss, if you're having issues with anything on Canvas, or if you just want to want to say hi, uh, please send me an email. Um, I love getting emails from students, and um, I really look forward uh, to meeting some of you. And so also on this page, you'll notice that on the right, uh, you have this to-do list. Um, and basically, that just has our due dates for pretty much every assignment we're gonna be doing. Uh, so you can always check on that to see what you have left to do and when that is going to be due. Also on the right-hand side, you'll see uh, a breakdown of the course grading. And so we have multiple assignment types, a lot of different assignments to keep up with. And they all have these different, different weights, of course. So we have our interactive lectures, uh, the, our learning activities, and this is learning activities are a really big part of your grade. We have these weekly reflections where you're going to reflect on what you've learned um, in that past module. We have some uh, a few case study readings, a few quizzes based on those case studies. And then finally, at the end of the semester, uh, we're going to have one cumulative creative project uh, where you have a lot of freedom to do something creative that, uh, that kind of matches what you're interested in. And then in the middle here, we have the course summary, kind of similar to your to-do list. This just lists every assignment and when it's due. And so hopefully the first thing you have to do, and you have to do it by uh, Wednesday, June 1st at 1159, is to access the rest of the course, you need to upload your acknowledgement of the academic misconduct policy, and then you have to receive a perfect score on the syllabus quiz. And so make sure you complete those by Wednesday, June 1st at 11.59, because if you don't complete both of those items, uh, you will be dropped from the course uh, early Thursday morning. So please complete those as soon as you can. Let me know if you have any issues. From there, you'll notice that we have four, well, four main due dates, and then a fifth due date for your creative project. And so all the assignments after that syllabus quiz are going to be, um, the vast majority of them are going to be due on Tuesday night at 11.59. And all of the assignments from each module are going to be due at that same time. So before we go into those, we're going to go back to our virtual classroom and we're going to take a look at our syllabus and just highlight. Uh, I'm not going to read it and go over every aspect of the syllabus with you. I encourage you uh, to do read that uh, very carefully. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you and then go over a few, a few big points. Um, this, of course, is me, uh, Dr. Youngblood. I do prefer to go by Dr. Youngblood, uh, so keep that in mind uh, when you're emailing me. And then, so there's a lot to read here. We have a We do have a textbook required in this course. It is a free open source textbook. Um, and so you can access that by following this link. And then I just want to mention you can buy a physical copy if you like, um, but the, the online version is going to be suitable uh, for this class. 
Uh, next, we're gonna, I wanted to highlight my student assistance hours. Uh, these are also known as office hours. Um, and these are just optional times for you to meet with me and for me to get to know all of you. And so every Monday and Wednesday from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m., I'm going to be at this WebEx link and I'm just gonna be hanging out, uh, hoping to talk to students about the course and what's going on in their life. And so feel free, I really encourage you to come to these student assistance hours. We can talk about uh, any issues you're having in the course. I can answer questions about course content. Um, we can talk about careers in biology. Uh, or we can just get, get to know each other. So please come to the student assistance hours, Mondays and Wednesdays at, at 1.30. So here's another breakdown of those assignment categories. Again, I wanted to point out these learning activities are the biggest um, bulk of your grades, as well as those case studies, those case readings and those case study quizzes. Importantly with grades, uh, so a lot of assignments in this, so there are gonna be a lot of grades getting posted. Uh, please check your grades very regularly um, and check that, it, that whatever's posted agrees uh, with what you got on that grade. And so the way this is gonna work is that um, if you find an error in your grades or some kind of discrepancy, uh, please reach out to me within one week of receiving that grade on Canvas. And that way I can fix that really, uh, really promptly. Our course is only five weeks long. And so we need to make sure that we uh, are, are keeping up with these grades so that we can fix any issues as they come up. See more information on your assignments there. And then the last thing I really wanted to spend some time on was our late policy. And so late assignments uh, will not be accepted unless you have an excused issue uh, that you've discussed with me ahead of time. And so what that means is that for each assignment, uh, it's gonna have a due date, which is usually Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. All of those assignments are available for 24 hours after that due date. And so you have kind of a grace period where if you didn't get it in at the original due date, you have 24 hours to submit it uh, in that time. After that 24 hours grace period, I will not accept any late assignments. And so that grace period gives you some leeway if something comes up, um, but I really encourage you to keep with those original due dates. And so I know that sometimes life happens and you can't complete assignments on time or you can't complete an assignment at all. And so to accommodate that, um, we're gonna drop some of your lowest scores from each assignment group. So for lectures and learning activities, I'll drop your three lowest grades for each of those. For weekly reflections, I'll drop your two lowest grades. For the case study readings and quizzes, I'll drop your one lowest grade for each group. So that kind of gives you some leeway. If you can't do an assignment, then you'll just be able to drop that assignment without any, any without a big impact to your grade. Lastly, I'm going to point out there are no dropped grades for the creative project assignments. And so make sure that, uh, definitely make sure you're keeping up with that one. And then lastly, what this policy means is that there will be no makeup assignments or late work except in the event of an excused absence. And so if you can't get to the assignment, that's okay. I'll, it'll just be dropped. Your lowest grades will be dropped, uh, no questions asked. All right, so then make sure you go over our academic misconduct policy um, and, and read over this information on reaching out uh, via email. Please give me about two business days if you have a question for me. I'm usually a lot faster than that, um, but uh, there's a lot going on. And, uh, so just give me two business days. And if you still don't hear from me, uh, you can send me another email. All right, so we're back on our homepage here. And we can go through a lot, a few different links here. I'm not gonna do all of them, but if you go to student assistance hours, you can see more information about those students that time to meet with me every week. Uh, you can go to the virtual hallway discussion board uh, where you can post questions to the class and the class will give you and people will respond uh, to that, to your question a little more quickly. 
And so we'll just hop over there real quick. And so this is just a place for every student to post, ask, and answer questions. And so this might be quicker than emailing me uh, because a lot of your classmates will know the answers to your questions. And so you could ask something like, when is um, the first assignment due? And someone might answer that really quickly. Uh, so feel free to post any questions about course content and logistics there. Uh, next, uh, you realize you can click on this little cartoon version of me. Uh, so you can click on that to learn a little bit more about uh, me and, and what I do in biology and in research. Um, and if you also click that, you'll get to see a, a cute picture of my cat. So I do recommend doing that. And once you're ready to start the course, you can click on the start the course link and it'll take you uh, to our modules page. And this is kind of be the main place where you go. Uh, we have a few different sections here. Uh, hopefully you read the syllabus. You can view this video on the course overview and you can view our textbook. This get help section just says different resources. Some of them are specific to the course. Uh, other ones are kind of generally available to you through EMCC. This connect option, again, are just ways you can get help in the course, learn more about me, your instructor. Um, and then also find ways to meet with me and get your questions answered. Once you complete the syllabus quiz and acknowledge the academic misconduct policy, you'll be able to access all of the modules. And so we have four main modules in the course. And like I said, all of the assignments from each module are going to be due on the same day. And so when we look at module one, talking about biodiversity and evolution, Every single one of these is due June 7th at 1159 PM. And so there's a lot of work in these. This course moves really quickly. And so don't wait until June 7th to start working on these. Um, you should be working on these throughout the week so that when June 7th rolls around, they're almost already finished. And that's gonna hold true for all of our modules, module two, uh, everything in module two is due June 14th at 11.59. Everything in module three is due June 21st at 11.59. Everything in module four is due June 28th at 11.59. And then lastly, your creative project is going to be due on the last day of the course on June 30th. And so in between module four and uh, after module four, you have about two days to complete your creative project, um, but that should be plenty of time because we're going to be working on the creative projects uh, throughout the semester. Okay, so that should cover the main, the main points. Again, if you have any questions, you can come to my student assistance hours. Uh, you can post in the virtual hallway. You can send me an email at uh, my australiamountain.edu email, or you can send me a message on Canvas. Uh, again, I really look forward to meeting all of you and, and learning about biology with you uh, over the next five weeks. Um, so thanks again for your time and uh, hope to meet you soon. Thanks.